Uh, so we're going to talk to William Yarwood, who is the Media Campaigns Manager from the Taxpayers Alliance, about the fact that the Department of Work and Pensions is going to take money straight from bank accounts and pay slips in a new benefit crackdown. I'm very happy with the crackdown. What I'm worried about is what Silky Carlo, who's the director of Big Brother Watch, said. This blank check to force private companies to snoop and report on the country's poorest citizens to the state is intrusive, excessive, and will create a culture of fear among millions of people claiming benefits. William, thanks for joining me on the programme. Is uh, Silky Carlo from Big Brother Watch correct? Well, good afternoon, Peter. It's great to talk to you again. Uh, I think she is, actually. I mean, if I can just go back to the point previously, I completely agree with you. I think that benefit fraud does need to be cracked down. As we've seen, it cost taxpayers £7.3 billion last year. But this is an unprecedented piece of legislation, actually regurgitated from the last Tory government. And when Labour got into power, you might remember Keir Starmer standing on the steps of Downing Street, said he wanted to impress less on people's lives and let people get on with themselves. I don't think having a mass surveillance system and spy on people's bank accounts counts as you know not treading on people's lives and actually what you'll be treading on is the most vulnerable people's lives that's carers that's pensioners that's the disabled if people are uh, if people are you know doing the double and claiming benefits for when they shouldn't do that what what sanctions should be there how can we actually claim that money because we've all i've covered magistrates courts as a journalist i know that often when people are uh, fined for example they say all oh, right five pounds a week for however many weeks it is and often the, that money is just never collected so actually going into those bank accounts maybe that is something that should be considered well, quite frankly, the government already has laws which you can correctly enforce. There's the Social Security Fraud Act from 2001, which allows the DWP and the government more specifically to target individual accounts suspected of welfare fraud. What this is proposing is a blanket surveillance on everybody who receives welfare's um, bank accounts. And like I said earlier, that includes pensioners, that includes uh, the vulnerable, namely the disabled, and that includes carers who receive the care. So care even, even if you are absolutely you know by the letter of the law doing exactly what you're supposed to do you're a disabled person for example or a pensioner getting a pension you're absolutely entitled to those benefits nonetheless the government will be able to monitor your bank account I mean is that is that correct or is that too strong a characterization no, it's not too strong a characterisation at all. Like I said, this is regurgitated from the last Tory plans. One thing I will say is that Liz Kendall has said that these rules are going to be proportionate, but the issue and has dismissed, um, you know, people like myself and people like C. Carla from Big Brother Watchers, you know, peddling nonsense. But quite frankly, you know, when the you know government has overstepped and broken many promises within its first three months, you know, what's to say they're not going to overstep on this piece of legislation? Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that the Work and Pensions uh, Secretary, Liz Kendall, she says it's absurd that investigators' powers had not been updated in the last 20 years. She says she wants to stop serious fraud on its tracks by making sure people really are who they say they are. She says, my team are still in 2024 sending letters to gather evidence for those suspected of welfare fraud, slowing them down to a snail's pace when they could be shutting down serious fraud cases. Our bill will give them similar powers as HMRC to investigate fraudsters. It's time we give them the tools they need for the fight. What do you make of what Liz Kendall has said there? Again, I think that she should enforce the existing rules that do actually exist, and I think that um, her basically re re rebuking civil rights and um, civil liberties campaigners as peddling nonsense just shows her authoritarian streak, and it shows the authoritarian streak that currently sits in this Labour government, which they've inherited from the last government. So I, I really think that Liz needs to be a little bit more careful with her words and not be so dismissive of people who are rightly concerned about this overreach and indeed this financial snoopers charter. So is your is your position then, William, that actually the legislation that exists already should do the job? And why do you think Labour are doing this? What's their real motive? I think the motive is obviously to fill this so-called £22 billion black hole, but also I think it's because during the election, Labour wanted to appear tough on, on welfare, and so to speak, uh, which is something that you know I don't necessarily disagree with. But, when you, but being tough on welfare is not the same as completely and utterly destroying the privacy of vulnerable people and indeed just average people with bank accounts because it's remember not all uh, vulnerable people receive these welfare benefits sometimes it's their relatives sometimes it's parents of vulnerable children uh, sometimes it's landlords i mean this is a completely unprecedented step in the wrong direction and i would urge the government to chuck out these plans before it's too late thank you very much that is william yarwood there he is the media campaigns manager with the taxpayers alliance